Uh, you had no problem with anybody making you feel uncomfortable because you weren't Jewish and working up the night? No, no, no. They were, uh, they were very, very nice. Uh, you know, and I learned the customs, and I, and I, 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 I do a, if I have an old Jewish audience, I have a Jewish routine that I do about wanting to be, be uh, you know, Jewish, and, 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 and that works great. That's a great routine. It's, and uh, that works great. And then I had written, then when I worked Grossinger's, you know, with the, with the great golf course, and I mean, I was so impressed with the, you know, with yeah. the, with the thing and the dining room, everything was uh, was was great. And then uh, I wrote a joke about Eddie Fisher when he married De Debbie Reynolds. My house, yeah, yeah, at your house. house. Yes. And I wrote this joke. Yeah. And uh, I said that um, the, the Eddie Fisher married Debbie Reynolds at, at Grossinger's, and uh, it was a very nice, you know, typical Jewish wedding. But at the end of the ceremony, they didn't have a glass to break. So they stepped on Debbie's ring. Huh. <laughs> it like never that. happened. It's only a joke. I but know, but it's great. It's fun. I think it's funny. It's very But I don't know. What, do you, you know. what do I know? Italians, we don't step on a glass. We throw them, but we don't step on glass. And then the Greeks throw the plates. Yeah, they throw the plates. That's right. That's that right. Is. They break the plates. Well, you know, uh, you've traveled all over the world, and did you ever see an area, any place else, different than or the same as the Catskills? No, no. What What was it that made it so different? Not uh, let, we can forget the geography, you know, because we know it's just beautiful, Mother Nature wise. There is no place in the world that was like the Catskills where you could go and you could eat all day long. Yeah. And uh, you could uh, dance all day long and, and uh, with the swimming pools and the, and the golf and that, it, it was just fascinating. And, it was, and I bet if you mentioned the area as you were traveling, I bet there were people who recognized it, that they were, had gone to the Catskills. Oh, yeah. If you were on a cruise ship or sitting at a restaurant in Florence, Right, right. Well, that that's what a, a ship is. It's the Catskills yeah. only on oh, yes. a ship. Oh, I know. Dave and I used to cruise a lot, and we always met so many guests on the, on the oh, ship. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. But it's... Uh, and I run into people all the time, you know, of, you know, oh, we saw you in the Catskills when we were... Then they have the bungalow colonies. Have the, there's no place in the world that has bungalow colonies. No, it's... It's, it was such a unique area. It's a heartbreak for me now. It's, it's really a heartbreak, and yet I wonder, with the sophistication of people now, and they want, they can go to Paris in the time it used to take to go to Grossinger's, or to go to the Concord, or Cutches, or wherever. And uh, I don't know. We'll never have the answer to it. It'll all be suppositions. Well, there was a family up there. It was like a family. Well, that's it. And the, within each hotel, and then as the generations, the other generations came along, there was cohesiveness between the hotel owners. I mean, my son Mark and Mitchell and their contemporaries, and my contemporaries, and then we had my mother's contemporaries. So it, and of course. We understood that competition is probably the one of the best things for business because it keeps you on your toes. Whereas I think the older generation felt that somebody was almost like their enemy if they were in business, you know, uh, with somebody else. 